Hi, it's Tessa, and I'm here today with a small tutorial. Somebody asked me on YouTube to film this, so here I am filming it, and I'll have to send her a little note saying that it's up. All right, what we're going to do is add Target Dollar Spot Pockets to my pocket planner. The reason this is an issue normally is because these are smaller. I'm sorry. The inserts for the pocket planner are smaller than the Target Dollar Spot Pockets, and I actually add them to my planner, and of course I can't find one right now. <laughs> like right here, I have a Target Dollar Spot Pocket on this clear insert. So it works. She was like, how do you do that? Well, it's pretty dang simple, and there's actually two ways to go about it. So I am going to, because I'm resetting up my planner. This is my holiday winter planner, but I'm resetting up my planner for January, but I still am going to keep my dog section in here. So I want to add a pocket on the back so I can put like my die cuts in it. So I'm going to work on this piece right here and we're going to put this on the back of here. And it's so simple and it takes like two seconds. But I'm also going to show you some other ideas, too, to go along with it. So hopefully my phone don't ring, because I called my parents earlier, and they were at church. And I have a feeling they're going to call back, so if the phone rings, I'll pause this video and come back to it. All right, so I'm going to take out this little glitter dashboard that I made. And let's set this aside. Set that aside for now. Okay. So, I'm going to take all this off so we can work with it. So, here is my glitter dashboard that I made. I sell these in my shop. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. And notice where the holes are. That's always the side you're going to cut on. So, if you want your pocket in the front, you'll put it on the front and then cut this side. If you want it on the back, you're going to put it back here and cut on this side. You're always cutting on the side where there are holes. Okay, that's the key. So, I am going to take this Target, Target Dollar Spot Pocket and put it on here, but I want to show you an alternate solution before I do that. This is also a pocket, but I cut it with a rounded side. So when I added it to like here, it's hard to see. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I just cut it at a slant. <laughs> you can't see this at all. Kind of, maybe. There you go. I, I just cut it at a slant. So I kind of did this, but at, at an angle. And you can put it depending on where you want it on here. I cut it on this side for this one so I can slide my die cuts in. And that is my page marker. So there's that alternative. So we're going to take this Target Dollar Spot Pocket. And why do I keep saying the whole thing? I don't know. And we're going to line it up with the side of the divider. And press it down. So here's your overhang, right? So here's your holes and here's your overhang. So I'm just going to take scissors and we're going to cut this right off along the side of the dashboard, right? So we cut it off and then these little hole punches at Walmart are 97 cents and they are freaking awesome. You can always use your Rasco or any other pocket punch like that, but once there's holes in it, it's really hard, I find, to line it up in one of these. So I just use this because it's so simple and you're going to punch through that pocket like so and it's so easy so whoops wrong side so yes it's completely open but once you put it in the rings the rings will actually hold this shut so your rings will be there and then this will be shut it can't be any simpler than that now while I have this out I'm going to show you some ways to decorate this 
So here's a die cut that I got from Holly from River Street Stickers last year at Christmas time, and it is adorable. And this is what I want to put in here. So I'm going to put that in there, right? I'm going to actually put this in the ring, so I'll show you this better. Let's put this in here. Oh, my dog is barking. Somebody must be walking down the lane. Okay. So here we have our pocket held in with the rings. So you can put your little die cut in and it stays perfectly. Put my little dog bone back on that I got from Kristen from Playing With Pizzazz. Um, okay, so there's that option. That is actually what I'm putting in there, but I want to show you other options. I'm sorry about my dog. She will stop barking as soon as the people are gone. All right. So here's what I want to show you. Let me pause this for one second. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. The other thing you can use to decorate is pieces of vellum. I cut these two pieces of vellum down previously, and you can tuck that in there. So you're tucking the vellum in, and this is like layering. So then you can leave that back there, tuck in your die cut, so you have like a layer of goodies in your pocket. And you can use any vellum. If this is clear, you can use glitter. So that's just like something you can stick in the back to create like a background. The other option, and I really like this, and I'll tell you why. So you can just laminate your die cuts, which is very popular. You don't have to laminate them either. These are from Purple Bunny Prints, and they're sticker die cuts. And you don't have to laminate them, and you can just add them in wherever. Or my favorite way is you laminate your die cut, but you leave it high. That way that gives you extra room to like add things to it. So what you're essentially doing is you're tucking in your die cut, but you can also add like layers to it, right? However you want to do it. So you can laminate them in the middle. You can laminate them on the top. You can make them wider skinny. I like this because this will hold this die cut up. Oh, that one's too big. Some of them I made to actually punch in. Okay, so here's the idea behind that. I want to put in my doggies and me, and I want to put in this coffee cup. So I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to put that in. So that creates a layer without having to use washi. Because the problem I find with washi is if you put washi on and this is clear, you see it on this side unless there's something on there. Well, I don't want to add anything up here. So this works perfectly for that. Now, I just laminated these ones yesterday because they're new. So I have this little punch and I would definitely take the corners off. This I got from Wish, actually. But it takes the smallest amount of corner off. Can you see that? Look how tiny that corner rounder is. Some of them dig in too far for an application like this. So just punch them all and I'll do them all. I'm not gonna do them all now. Okay, so rounded corners. Um, like this one says hello. I don't think it'll fit in there either, but you can put that in there and then it's high and it's still, like if that was in there, it would be above your other die cut. So that really makes it easy to layer. And then you're not wasting your die cuts. You can move them from planner to planner. And I, I this is from my toothpaste. I use Hello Toothpaste. Um, and then there's this one here and you can just punch these in your planner like this, which I am going to do that anyway because I... I want this one punched. So you can put your holes in and then you can put your die cut in there like that in your ring. And then you can still add another layer like that. And it's so cute. And then your die cuts never get ruined because you're not sticking them on anything permanently and it's clear. So you can always add your layers. I also made this. From I ordered from Haley's Handmade Co. That's where all these adorable die cuts are from. This is from Planner.Bunny, Haley's Handmade Co. Like I said, Purple Bunny Prints. Oops, Haley's Handmade Co. 
All the die cuts from Haley's Handmade Co. came in this little pouch and I laminated it. So I can actually tuck like a tuck spot. I think that's so cute. And I can put that in my planner as well. I can tuck it in a pocket. I can punch it and put it on my rings, which is actually what I'm going to do. So there's that. Okay, one last thing. Same concept, but not die cuts. And I'm going to show you this real quick. So I hope that answers all the questions I've been getting about how I put a Target dollar spot pocket in my pocket rings. One last thing. Okay, so vinyl. This is from Shine Sticker Studio. This is from... Oh, what's the name of that shop? Hi, Core. Um, oh my gosh. I think it's Beyond Paper Flowers. I think. Is it? I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. This was a freebie from somewhere. And this is from River Street Stickers. So you get all these vinyls and you're like, what do I do with them? If I stick them on something permanently and I really like it, then I don't want to lose it. And what am I going to do? So same concept, just laminate clear sheets of acetate, whatever, whatever it is. You can even buy acetate on Amazon, just clear sheets of acetate. These are laminate, laminated sheets with nothing in them. So what I would do is, let's see here. I would just, Um, let me think. What do I want to do? These are cut down to my pocket ring sizes. So I'm going to put one on. I have a dog here. <laughs> I'm going to put Wonderlust. Oh, that's this one. It's a four by six for my camping planner. I'm going to put Wonderlust on here. And I'm going to decide how I'm going to do it. Do I want it on the bottom? Do I want it on the side? I think I'm going to put it on the bottom. Or do I want to put it on the top? No, nope, I'm going to put it on the bottom. Or in the middle. What do we think? bottom. Okay. So you're just going to take a credit card. Make sure this is all adhered well to your transfer paper. Never mind. This one's a sticker. <laughs> I thought it was vinyl, but it's a sticker. Even better. I'm just going to put that on here. We're going to try the vinyl next. I could have laminated that. That's okay. The concept is still the same. I don't want to rub, rub over that with my credit card, though. So that's on there. And then you can use this again and again and again because it's not anything that's printed and it'll match every layout. Gorgeous. Okay, vinyl. We're going to put a vinyl. This. This one is a vinyl. And it's on the transfer paper. So I am going to rub it. I can't believe I thought that sticker was vinyl. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to cut the corners on this. Sometimes you can like film and you're all over the place, you know, you're just randomly all over the place. So we're going to peel this off. And throw that out. And the dog paw, I'm going to put right in the center, I believe. Yeah, it's so pretty. I'm going to put it off to the side slightly so when I punch holes, it won't go into the vinyl. So then you just rub over it like this. And then this way, you get all the air bubbles and everything out. And then you're going to just lift it up. Hold on. Let me get a corner started. Man, it's hard to do sometimes. Okay. So don't mind my fingernails. I bite them. It happens. Sometimes it's hard for the vinyl to stick on a smooth surface, but once you get it started, let me just peel it off. Take your time. Do not rush this process. You will rip your vinyl. I've done it. And I kind of lay it flat. And instead of pulling up, you pull like sideways. 
There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how pretty that halo is. Oh, stunning. Okay, and then we're going to punch it. Line her up. Pocket size. And punch. See how putting that off to the side and then you punched your holes, it didn't go in your vinyl. So there we have that. So you can do that with anything. A bow. Um, like I said, stickers, words, whatever. Die cuts. It works great. So I hope that answered any questions I've been getting um, about the vinyl pockets and how they go on the pocket rings. Or if you want to cut them and use them like a secretarial type pocket. Whatever you decide to do. And I think the next video I'm going to make is a flip of my little planner before I change it out. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.